I was deployed with the 173rd Airborne Brigade to Afghanistan. You know, I mean, it wasn't probably 30 minutes after I got on the helicopter there, I saw a rocket go by the window and, you know, I realized, like, I'm, I'm here. I'm in Afghanistan and it's real. You know, I think veterans have a lot to offer Australia. I mean, you know, we come from working in really tough situations, facing a lot of adversity, and, you know, we're willing to get the job done no matter what it takes. Well, you know, in Australia, we have a culture of assuming that that men and women who've been through the Defence Forces arrive in the broader community with very great skills, very great self-discipline and motivation. And um, therefore, we assume uh, that uh, a similar uh, atmosphere surrounds those who are veterans of American Armed Services. Big landmass, probably twice the size of Texas, 200,000 people in that same landmass. 2007 was the most intense when I was in Afghanistan. While I was there, uh, our unit, we got in engagements on a regular basis. I was uh, actually wounded on September 4th, 2007 and uh, during a very large engagement and uh, it was pretty intense. Skills that I've developed and that I have and that I can carry over to the civilian job field. Leadership, I've been in stressful situations, I know how to overcome them mentally stressful situations, physically stressful situations, and the ability to interact and work well with people from all nationalities and crosses of life. I've met people from all around the world. My dream is, you know, to have a family and be able to just enjoy life, travel, and make other people happy, you know, as happy as you want to be. My dream, move to Australia, seek a career, and live there.